Bosch. I've already downloaded it, so click here to so basically when you click the download, but you'll you'll have a download button, and you'll be pretty much given um, uh, uh, a screen like this. No, there's only two things you have to change, but one two things you can change. So the first thing I did uh, was give it a fixed IP address. It says optional, but I gave it a fixed IP address, and that will become important later on. And I gave this my one one nine two one six eight one two hundred. And that's for fixed IP address. Further on down, you will see LAN cache IP. This has to be exactly the same as the IP you've given to your fixed IP. If it's not, if you're not given a fixed IP, then you have to give it to whatever your server IP would be, or your unraised server. So in this case, it would have been um, mine would have been. 103, but obviously that's not, that's not correct in this case. So 200. Scroll down a little bit. Leave, <coughs> excuse me, leave everything else alone. <coughs> what I've done here though, I've left um, cache mem size to 500 megs. <coughs> that can be increased. <coughs> <coughs> Scrolling down, I've put mem cache size to 500 megs and cache dig, cache dig size cache disk size not dick size disk size was initially 200 gigs or, or one terabyte I, um, I moved it down to sorry it was 200 to two terabytes moved it down to one and that's all I that's the, that's the only thing I changed I changed it down to two gigs Sorry, 200 gigs to 1,000. To I changed it. Start again. To from one th from 2,000 gigs to 1,000 gigs. Oh my God, this is a terrible video. Okay, <clears throat> and then what will happen is go to the dashboard, and then it will be bush. It will he be here. Now there's nothing you can control here because it's literally just a Docker that can train that controls your. Um, uh, your 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 cache files. It's all it does. It's, it's a cache. Nothing pretty about it at all. Uh, what you have to do though is go into your. Um, I'm I'm assuming you do an unray. You know how to do this part. So if I go into, come on, stop it. Okay. So if I do IP config. Oh. What I've done in my router, I've got an open sense router. Um, but I'm sure you can do this. I don't know if you can do this yourself, but you can do it either from the router or from ma or manually within your um, on Windows. But make sure the DNS server, your first DNS server, points to whatever the um, you set up in originally in the Docker. So remember, I set mine as one nine two one six eight one two hundred. I set up exactly the same here. Now, what you can also do it within um, manually. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Uh, change the depth assumption. Blah blah blah. You do it manually. Uh, properties. Come on, here we within here. So you can change it here to um, one nine two one six eight one dot two hundred. And but make sure you have an alternate DNS. Otherwise, your internet just won't work. So just do one dot one dot one dot one. Okay. So I don't need to do that because I've done that through my router initially. So, and then what will happen is, um, I had to, I had to, restart my Steam cache once, um, because I don't know why I just had to restart because it wasn't working. I restarted it and it, then I did some tests. So you saw me. Um, Download uh, Victor Vran at uh, 90 megs a second. Oh, uh, another thing is if oh, wrong button. If you uh, oh, where's my where's my oh no, there we go. So what I've done, <coughs> what you can do to monitor to see if it's working or not, is um, I um, logged into my unread server. Um, and then or console or whatever how I SSH 
SSH, Telnet. I don't think people use Telnet anymore, but SSH. And let's type in Docker stats. And it will tell me, uh, give me details of my Docker's, um, what it's doing basically. So as you can see, I'm running Steam Cache Bundle. And I'm running a two a utility that monitors Plex and Plex itself. So, but there's a top one I want to I want you to kind of focus on. So, if I close this window, go up to here, and then let's say, for example, Bastion. Uh, Bastion is something I I tell you what, no, Broforce, Broforce. If I uninstall Broforce, delete. Okay, and if I just push it right there, if I close all these other windows, so it's not so messy. Okay, so if you look at that there, um, and you watch it kind of kind of kick alive when I start, because I've already downloaded. You have to download download the files once within, within Steam. You can't just automatically cache it. Uh, but subsequently, every time you download after that, it'll be a lot quicker. So watch how quickly I can um, download Broforce. And go, and it should take me two. Se oh, okay, that's quite quick. So it's basically one point three gigs. Basically, it's not that not terrible. But watch how quickly it downloads. Three, two, one, go. Eighty-seven megs, eighty-three megs, seven. Done. Done like a dog's dinner. So yeah, that was it. Um, I just wanted to show you how if you guys are running Unraid and you have lots of, if you're running a LAN, um, a very simple, quick and easy way to run, to cache all your downloads um, using your Unraid server. That's it guys, comment below, like if you like, sorry I've got a bit of a funny throat, um, like if you like, dislike if you dislike, and I'll see you guys in the next one. If you've got this far on the comments, um, I would like you to comment below, uh, I love Led Zeppelin. Huh? That's a Spider-Man reference. I love Led Zeppelin. Okay, guys, see you in the next one. Bye for now.